Hi, I'm Ken Coleman and welcome to the latest episode, the latest webisode of Frozen Fates. Now this week I was food shopping and I saw in the freezer section, always have to be alert, that there were new flavors. In fact, a new brand, a new line, a new company. Cool House. Cool House. It is a Californian, it is a California-based company, created by owners Natasha and Freya. Uh, started with them buying an undrivable ice cream truck on Craigslist. They've come a long way. What appealed to me about this ice cream is not about its being locally sourced, relatively speaking. California cows in a Massachusetts ice cream reserve selection. Not necessarily that it is no bovine growth hormone. Again, that's a plus, but not exactly what drew me to it. Not even the fact that it is women-owned, or that it's gluten-free. It is that they just thought outside the box when it came to the flavors. This type is Bananas Foster, right? The banana ice cream, rum, dolce de, dolce de leche, swirl. Rum and a dolce de leche swirl, not combined. They have another flavor that I'm going to try a couple days, maybe a week. That is milkshake with french fries, which I've never tried the actual thing. Now that sounds awesome as well. But I love banana ice cream, so this was going to be my first pick for the unsealing. Right there. Can you see the swirl? I think you can see a little bit of the swirl. Very squeaky floors. From the look of it, the banana ice cream is homogenous. It is much softer than the Ben and Jerry's ice creams. Banana is so strong, but it's all homogeneously mixed. You aren't going to be biting into a frozen banana halfway through. Now the thing about it being rum flavored, I, I don't drink that much. So I'm not exactly sure, I'm not entirely sure what to expect, what to look for. I know that it is sweet. into the swirl and at the dos de leche and I'm thinking that the rum is mixed into the banana flavor sweetening it a little bit more hmm This is the good stuff. <laughs> mm. Going further down, I see that the swirl comes across halfway down the pint and at the bottom of the pint. Otherwise, it tastes like a very sweet banana ice cream.
which is good nonetheless. When I think of bananas, when I think of bananas foster, and I've only had the dish once, I think of caramel flavors, bananas. Rum, I guess it sweetens, but I don't really notice it that much. I think that it's more of a fuel for the flames, but other people may argue. I think that this ice cream is awesome. You don't get the caramel, the caramel-y flavor of the dulce de leche. Too much in the ice cream but bananas are supposed to be the focal point so say la vie with this mm. And I'd recommend this to anyone else. I'm going to include the website for Cool House in the summary down below. So you can see where Cool House ice cream may be sold in a store near you. Cool House, thank you for the flavor. For the Bananas Foster, I'm going to be trying your milkshake and french fries next. I look forward to even more craziness and out-of-the-box flavors that complement each other well, but unexpected ways. All right, my name is Ken Coleman. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Uh, all right, my name is Ken Coleman. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. If you have any ice cream, uh, ice cream suggestions leave it in the comments in below and i'll be able to respond if you would like to subscribe and see any of my new videos geekdom food ice cream recipes etc there is a subscription option and also at the end of this video you'll see a little circle on my face there is one last option for a bell and if you click it you will get emails whenever a new video is up on my channel so my name is ken coleman and have a good night bye